This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, build your online presence with Squarespace. Hey everyone, I'm Ace of Clay and welcome to another sculpting video. If you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture. Today, I'm collaborating with Jazza. I'm sure you all know who Jazza is. He is an incredible artist and content creator that dabbles in every area of art that there is to dabble in. And he's good at all of it. <laughs> From giant life-size sculptures to tiny little sand art bottles, Jazza has truly done it all. He has a true passion for art and he is just such a cool, genuinely nice guy. They say, don't meet your heroes, but Jazza breaks the rule on that one. So when I sat down with Jazza to come up with our collaboration concept, I mentioned that I've been wanting to make a creepy Ronald McDonald. And not four seconds later, Jazza was like, oh my God, I love it. We can make an entire restaurant. It can have blood, grime. It could be super creepy. We can 3D print this and put lights and all this. And like not five minutes later, the meeting was wrapped and we had our idea. So that was awesome. Jazza's genuine excitement for this project was so inspiring. In this video, I will be sculpting Ronald and two zombie workers. And when you're done watching, of course, be sure to go over to Jazz's channel and see the incredible diorama that he put together for them. No expense was spared, no detail overlooked. Trust me, you are in for a treat. And before we get started, the Seamstress plush is back and she is available right now at aceofclay.com. I am signing these and there is a very limited number of them in stock. So if you want to grab one, now is your chance because once she is gone, she is gone forever. aceofclay.com, link in the description box below. And now without further ado, let's sculpt Ronald McEvil or Ronald McDemon, <laughs> Ronald McNasty. All right, let's get started. All right, let's make Jazza proud. We're gonna start with Ronald beginning with his armature and then bulking him out with some Super Sculpey Ultralight. When I was designing this guy in my head, I really wanted to make him in my style. We're gonna go for a big evil grin, wide menacing eyes, and of course, all the iconic McDonald's details that make him who he is. Now let's bulk out his shoes and get him in the oven. And once he's baked and completely cooled down, it's time to start adding clay. I will be using cos clay for this guy's body because it stays flexible and I won't have to worry about him on his trip to the other side of the world. Before adding clay to armature wire, I like to brush on some bacon bond to help the clay stick. This, in my opinion, works better than wire wrapping, plus it's way faster. Once his legs are all set, it's time to start shaping out the rest of his costume. And of course, now it's time for some folds and wrinkles. Really make this costume look like it's been lived in for a very long time. I make these with some snakes of clay that I blend into the surface. Now, before I move forward with the collar and the rest of the details, let's get his neck on. Using some thin shapes, let's create his little zipper cover, logo patch, and pockets. And just like that, this guy's legs and torso are done. Let's brush the entire surface with some clay softener to remove fingerprints and add a little bit of a texture by dabbing the tip of the brush on the surface and get him in the oven. And once he's baked, I got a little head start on his shoes. Just gonna make these out of some Super Sculpey original and add all the tiny little details. There we go, the shoes are done. Let's smooth them out with some clay softener and bake them again. All right, let's finish up this guy's arms, add some more wrinkles, and then we can start his hands. To make his hands, I'm gonna make the palm and back of the hand from a blob of clay and insert wires for each of the fingers. Once each one is done, I'm gonna pre-bake them so I can easily sculpt the fingers without anything moving around. This is my favorite little trick for making hands. 
Now let's finish them off. You're probably wondering why I didn't make the fingers out of cow's clay, and that's a really good question, but they're reinforced with wire, so I'm not too worried about them. And spoiler alert, he makes it to Australia just fine. Ah, uh, look at those tiny little fingernails. Now let's stick them on with some bacon bond and call this guy's body done. Well, almost done. I'm gonna stipple some bacon bond on the surface with my brush just to add a little bit of texture. And we're gonna set that aside and start working on his head. Let's punch out his eye sockets and go from there. Again, like I said earlier, I really want this guy to be in my style. Mutant universe style even. If you know, you know. I want his face to be really expressive and scary. I love sculpting big smiles like this. It's just so satisfying carving out all the teeth. It's probably why I make them so often. Now throughout the sculpting process, I'm not too worried about him looking like the actual Ronald McDonald. I'm just having fun with his face. The makeup and paint job at the end, that's what's gonna sell it. Let's work on those cheeks with my cone rubber shaper and accentuate that big crazy grin. And what would an ace of clay monster be without a giant exaggerated brow bone? Let's pop these on and blend them in. Now let's attach his head with some bacon bond. And just like that, your creepy neighbor, I mean Ronald McDonald, is almost done. Let's finish off the face with a nice quick brushing of clay softener. And once this guy's out of the oven, it's time to finish him off with his hair. I'm going to sculpt the hair out of ultralight just because I like the texture for the hairstyle he's going to have. And for the general shape of this, I'm going to stay pretty close to the original. All right, we're gonna take a quick break from our video to talk about our sponsor, Squarespace. Whether you're a big business, a small business, a freelance designer, or sculptor like me, Squarespace has everything you need to showcase your brand, sell your products, and more. I've been using Squarespace for over four years now, even before they started sponsoring me, and I could not be happier with my experience. Their products are so streamlined and so easy to use that managing my website, aceofclay.com, is truly a breeze. Some of my favorite features include the portfolios in galleries. In my line of work, I have to show my art to the world, and Squarespace's beautiful portfolios allow me to do just that. I opened my online store where I sell stickers, posters, plushes, and more, and Squarespace makes everything so easy. I can track my inventory, print shipping labels, I get notifications when something sells, and everything I need is right there in the platform. You can even sell digital downloads. They really have everything you need to start selling online. And at this day and age, if you're an online business, you you've got to have a social media presence and Squarespace allows you to integrate all of your social media platforms into any page of your website. So if everything I said sounds good, head on over to squarespace.com, start a free trial, and when you're ready to go live, go to squarespace.com slash aceofclay to save 10% on your purchase of a website or domain using my code aceofclay. Thanks again Squarespace for sponsoring this video, now back to our sculpture. All right, I'm just gently pressing the tip of this rubber shaper into the surface of the ultralight to create his iconic curls. Mm -hmm. 
Now for an extra little touch, let's add some curly flyaways with some floral wire. I'm adding a little bit of bacon bond to the tip of each of these before I stick them in just so they're nice and secure. Alright, now we're going to set him aside and start our zombie workers. This is zombie worker number one. Just making the armature out of some wire bulking it out with ultralight and then we're going to repeat this process for the next one and once these guys are figured out let's bake everyone real quick and come back and finish them off all right adding some clay these guys are just going to be super sculpy original with the exception of a couple details that i make out of cosplay just want to cover everything up here add the arms And this guy right here is going to be unfortunately ripped in half. So let's go ahead and cover that wire with some clay and make uh, his intestines. And for the little extra doodads that I'm adding, I'm making them out of cos clay so they don't break because they're super thin. Now let's finish off his shirt with some more folds and wrinkles. Poor guy. And once that shirt's done, let's go ahead and texture his rotting flesh. Now let's give him a head. And for some extra detail, let's poke in some more wire, give him some little pieces of hair. And I finished him off with a little visor. Now let's finish the other guy. After finishing Mick Worker number two's head, I'm going to attach it and bake them. And once they're baked, it's time for paint. All the paints I'm using are Army Painter War Paints. I'm going to start with this nice shade and paint up Ronald's skin. Mm -hmm. 
Now after getting a base coat down, I like to go in with my darker tones and shadows. Want to really focus on all the recessed areas of his face and the nooks and crannies. For his makeup, once the skin is completely dry, I'm going to dry brush and dab on some white. I want this to look like makeup, not the color of his skin, so I'm going to slowly build it up in layers. It's always easier to add more than take away. Alright, now let's paint all the details, starting with the whites of his eyes. And of course, they've got to be bloodshot, so I'm just going in with some watered down red and tiny little veins. Now to sort of merge everything together, I'm going to go in with a light brown wash, and then we can go in and start his crazy eyebrows. And this is the part I've been waiting for this entire time, painting his bright red nose. Uh, so satisfying. And of course his teeth, we're going to make them nice and white at first before we dirty them up. And of course his big red smile is going to go right around them. Once his face paint is on, I'm going to reposition those flyaways, get them in a little better position so they're not just sticking straight out like that like he was electrocuted, and then we're going to paint the whole thing red. Just like that, Ronald's head is done. Let's start on his costume, beginning with the arms. Get that white coat down first, and then we can go in with his red stripes that took forever. There they are. There's the red stripes. Once all the red is on, it's time to paint his costume yellow. And this probably would have gone on in one coat had I taken the time to properly shake the bottle of paint. After finishing up all of the details, it's time to go in with a nice dark brown wash and really dirty him up. I want to focus the wash on areas that would get the dirtiest if he was an actual living being, like under the arms, on the chest, elbows, soles of his shoes, and so on. And once Ronald is all painted up, it's time to paint his little friends.
Now for the final touches and say it with me. And he's done. Creepy Ronald McDonald and his two workers are complete. Let me know what you think of them in the comments. This was a really special project. I've been wanting to collab with Jazza since day one and it finally happened and I'm so excited and I'm really excited for you to see what he did with the diorama for the project. It really is incredible and I just have to say Jazza, you're awesome. You're the coolest guy. I remember when I was gonna reach out to him to ask if he wanted to do the collab, I was just gonna be like, hey, do you wanna draw something and I'll sculpt it, like, you know, make it super easy for him and he was just like all in, like let's do this big crazy diorama thing and it turned out awesome. So you gotta go check that out now. Go over to his channel if you haven't seen it already and see the whole thing come together. Thank you again, Jezza, you're amazing. And of course, thank you so much to all of you for watching and being here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ace of Clay. Join my Facebook group, Snakes of Clay, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.